Understanding Cell Motility, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting scientific concept, cell motility. This topic not only enhances your English vocabulary but also broadens your understanding of biology. So, let's get started and explore what cell motility is all about. Cell motility refers to the ability of cells to move. It's an essential part of many biological processes. This movement can occur in different ways, such as swimming, sliding, or even crawling. Think of it like cells having their own means of transportation. This concept is crucial in understanding how our bodies function at the microscopic level. Understanding cell motility is key to comprehending many biological processes. For example, it plays a vital role in healing wounds. Cells move to the site of a wound to start the healing process. Immune response. Immune cells move to attack invaders like bacteria. Development. During embryonic development, cells move to form different organs. It's fascinating how something so small can have such a big impact on our health and development. There are various types of cell movements. Amoeboid movement. This is like crawling. Cells change shape to move. Flagellar movement. Some cells have tail-like structures called flagella, which they use to swim. Ciliary movement. Similar to flagellar, but with tiny hair-like structures called cilia. Each type of movement is unique and serves different purposes in the body. Cell motility has significant implications in medicine. For instance, cancer research. Understanding how cancer cells move can help in developing treatments. Drug delivery. Scientists are exploring ways to use cell motility for targeted drug delivery. This shows the crucial role of cell motility in advancing medical science. That wraps up our discussion on cell motility. It's a small yet mighty concept in the world of biology and medicine. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in your English learning journey. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.